Hey guys, uh, this is Lei from Goldfish Corner. Today I'd like to talk a trick to cure your goldfish bladder disease. This is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, I learned something from the website, but I want to give it a try. Hopefully I'm going to fix my uh, rancho uh, bladder disease issue. But before I do anything, let me introduce my uh, videographer, myself, Casey. One. Hey guys, I'm Kaysen, the videographer, and hopefully you enjoy our next video. Alright guys, uh, you can see this is the, the fish has the swim bladder. Uh, it's been a month swim like that, it kind of a head down and then flow up all the way to the top of the surface. And um, I try a lot of the tricks that uh, uh, shared from the YouTube, such as feed them with the uh, steamed uh, green peas and but it doesn't work i also stopped feeding her for about a week but the problem still there so i really am in the position that i don't have any other way to fix it so that's why i learned a trick from the website and uh, as i said as my last resort i'm gonna give it give it a try i'll see if it's work all right let's see how to go this is all you need for this uh, uh, syringe surgery first of all you need this little guy, which is a clove oil, and you can see clearly, you don't need too much. You just need a six to eight drops for this uh, uh, surgery. I got it from Amazon. I'm going to share the link um, on this YouTube. You can guide from there. The reason we need a clove oil is to uh, anesthesia the goldfish. Basically, let the goldfish lose all the sense, and uh, so I can uh, do the surgery. Okay, and also use uh, the syringe. This is the syringe. I got a two, just in case. Okay, you basically just need one, and you need something with sharp, sharp needle. If you got any difficult time to get it from your local pharmacy store, you can also buy from online. I got this one from Amazon. Again, I'm gonna show the link down there. And uh, obviously, you're gonna need an empty bottle, uh, about uh, 500. Uh, milliliter. Basically, I'm gonna put the water in a, in this treatment tank uh, to make the goldfish lose the sense. So all they're gonna anesthesia the goldfish from here. Um, so after that, you also need a, a what I call this is a wake up tank. So after you finish the surgery, you're gonna put the goldfish here um, with a, uh, with the air pump like that. You, you're gonna uh, let the fish stay here for about 20-30 uh, minutes to wake up the fish from the anesthesia. Alright, so that's all we need and uh, we're gonna see how we're gonna do this. Two, one, go. Alright guys, uh, the first step, I put a fish in this little container. It has a 1500 milliliter um, of water. The water I got it from the fish tank. The first step, we're gonna end easier this goldfish. It's okay. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. For this pass, I start with six. And uh, it should take um, about 10, 12 minutes, and the goldfish gonna lose the sense. And that's the time. If it's, if it's loose, it's loose sense. Oh, we can put it on and do the surgery. Let's uh, wait another ten minutes. Let's see what happened. All right, all right, guys. Now it's about thirty minutes after the anesthesia clove oil. You can see the fish is is fully stop breathing. From now we only have two to three minutes to finish this uh, uh, syringe surgery. Okay. Now we're gonna get the fish out of the water. You can see it's fully stop breathing. And then I use the I use this uh, uh, towel paper to keep it dry, and uh, and then I'm gonna have the syringe out here. Okay, it's ready. So first thing first, you need to make sure to get the bladder location. Okay, um, so you wanna. I'm gonna get it from the back of the scale. Let's 
it's hard to find this ice cream. Okay, I think I got it. Now I'm, I'm about to remove one uh, milliliter uh, gas out of her bladder. You got a, about a little bit over one milliliter about his, her bladder. If you didn't get the right position, you're not able to uh, get air. It's very hard to pull, but now I think I got it. All right, so get this air out of, I think now she's good to go. Uh, but also, I need to do a little to clean her wound. This is um, hydrogen um, peroxide. I just put a little high hydrogen peroxide on the location that I just did my surgery. And I just clean up the wound. It should be good to go. All right. You know, it looks like the fish is not fully dead. I can see she's still responding me now from here okay i'm gonna put it to the wake up tank okay which is this is three tank over here you can see the the fish almost fully dead and let's put it back here casing okay hold on back off a little bit okay give me the oxygen make sure it's quite the location you see first of all the good news is the fish is uh at the at the end of the tank so that's probably good indicator of the success of the surgery. Uh, the last but not least is to see how we can wake up the fish, okay? Let's uh, look at my clock, Kaysen. So the time now, it's January 13, about uh, 3, uh, 25. I'll see how the fish gonna wake up. Whenever the fish wake up, that's show the success of this surgery. All right, I'll see you a little bit.